Now let's imagine the same situation where Eve interferes with the homunculus boxes and she takes each box and asks each homunculus where the Waffle House is and then replaces the boxed homunculus with a new one of her own. Eve will intercept Alice's first box and ask the homunculus is the Waffle House on, say, the south side. And in this case, she'll get a definite yes. That homunculus will then eat his map, jump out of the box, and run off into the woods. Then Eve will have to get her infinite supply of boxed homunculi. She'll tell one of them to put the Waffle House on the south side of the map. And in this case, no one knows what she did because Bob gets a definite yes for his answer, just like Eve did. For the second one, Eve decides to ask, is it on the west side? And in this case, there's a 50-50 probability that the homunculus says yes. And the homunculus unfolds the map, refolds it, he says yes, maybe he says no, let's say it's a yes. So then Eve gets a new homunculus because the other one ate the map and ran off into the woods. She tells this new one, put a Waffle House on the west side and sends it off to Bob. When Bob asks it, is it on the west side, he again gets a yes. But it doesn't matter because they're going to throw that bit out anyway. For the third one, Eve is going to guess to ask it whether it's on the north side. The homunculus says, yeah, it's on the north side, but it was a 50-50 probability that he says this. When the homunculus unfolds the map and refolds it, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. So she grabs a fresh boxed homunculus and tells it to put the Waffle House on the north side. Bob asks, is it on the east side? And maybe this time he gets a yes. And that is very different from what he would get if Eve had never interfered with the message. For the next one, Eve is going to ask it whether it's on the west side. Let's say she gets a no from the homunculus. Eve will then get a new one, tell him to put the Waffle House on the east side. And Bob will say, is the Waffle House on the north side? I uh, will get a no from the homunculus because he asks, is the Waffle House on the north side? Eve guesses west on the next one. The homunculus gives her a yes. Bob asks, is it on the east side? And he's going to get a definite no in this case. So now Bob and Alice communicate over the phone over Eve's telecommunication network. And Bob says, for the first one, I asked south. And Alice says, keep it. And for the second one, he says he guessed west. And Alice says, throw it out, etc., just like last time. Now at this point, remember, Alice thinks that she has shared 101 with Bob. She thinks they both have that same secret key. The way that Alice and Bob determine that their communication has not been secure is that they decide to publicly reveal some of their shared bits, which they would clearly not include in their secret key later because they're sharing them over a public channel. Alice says, Why don't you give me the actual answers you got from the first and third homunculus box? because she already knows the questions. They're going to be throwing these bits out and they're just going to use them to check the privacy of their homunculus delivery service. For the first one, I got a yes, and Alice says, cool. And he says, for the third one, I got a yes. Right then, Alice knows that somebody has tampered with their communication. That Eve. She told the homunculus to put the Waffle House on the west side of the map. Bob asked if it was on the east side, and the homunculus said yes. This is obviously wrong. So she tells Bob that their messages are being intercepted and that they need to try again. We need to find a new delivery service. Clearly, their public channel is not trustworthy. So this is how Alice and Bob can generate a shared secret key as long as no one is listening in. If somebody listens in, Alice and Bob find out about it, and they know that their message is no longer secure.